congratulations. How does it feel to, to get that call up? Amazing, yeah, it was it was um comes a bit of surprise, uh, but obviously when I found out it was it was brilliant. Um it's one of the things you sort of dream as as a kid, sort of representing your country and being called up and I haven't even got the chance to do it at any youth team level, so it, it makes it sort of extra special that I'm getting called up now. How did you actually find out? Um, it's quite funny, I just finished training actually, and, and one of the young boys um, had said congratulations to me, and I says, what for? And he says, oh, you're in the Scotland squad, and I was like, no, I don't think I am. He's like, no, you are, I've seen it on Twitter or something, he's seen it on, so... Um, that was the way I found out when the young lads, but I was obviously a bit surprised at the start and then um, came in and checked my phone and it was, it was going mental, but uh, it was great, yeah. Do you remember which, which player it was that told you? No, I can't remember actually who it was exactly. Um, I think I was still in shock actually that they told me because I, I, I never knew anything about it. Um, so like I said, it did come as a bit of surprise and um, it was obviously great, yeah. When you came back here, did you envisage this happening so soon? Um, maybe not so soon, but I definitely one of the reasons for, for coming back up to Hibs was to sort of enhance my sort of chances of getting in the Scotland set up and um, to get in as sort of quick as I had. It's been it's been brilliant. Um, obviously coming up and Hibs gave me the chance to play has been it's been great and it was it was a massive factor in me coming up the road like a season. Um obviously just buzzing to get a chance now. The way things have gone for you up here, is it beyond your expectations? Um I think the start I had such a good start. Um, obviously, I was confident I was going to come up and do, do well, but the, the start I had was pretty good. Um, a few goals and a couple of assists. So, um, like I said, I, I was a bit surprised to get called up so soon, but uh, obviously delighted now. What's been the, the biggest difference for you coming up here? Is it just playing regularly? Yeah, definitely. I think for myself, wherever I've been, um, any clubs where I've, I've had regular games, I've always I've always scored goals. Um, <coughs> The season I've sort of not scored goals is when I've, I've not really played, I've sort of been in and out. Um, and coming up to Hibs, I've, I've played sort of nearly every game and, and the goals have come in. It's just a case of enjoying your football and sort of these things happen, it's great. It's obviously been an issue for Scotland recently with the amount of injuries up front. So, how confident are you you can really make an impact in this team? Yeah, like you say, there's been a few injuries and you sort of sometimes um, these things in football sort of happen to get you in, and that's probably been the case for myself. So. For me, it's just go there and, and sort of grab the opportunity with both hands, which which I'm confident I'll do, and, and I'm sure that'll bring something different to the squad uh, um, from sort of what the players already in there got. Do a bit of research on Kazakhstan football. I know it's it's <laughs> going to be a, a bit of a long trip. I've um, I've never been to Kazakhstan before, so uh, it'll be exciting to, to get across there and see what it's like. You've obviously got a, a big game before then with with Hibs. How important is this game in the? Context of getting that top six place. Yeah, massive. We spoke about it this morning with the gaffer and um, the boys, and we're saying um, this season it's our biggest game. I think. Um, look at the table; we're, we're very close to each other. Um, it, it won't be done by all means' sake. Whoever wins, but I think it's it puts you in definitely a good place for for a top six finish. Um, whoever does win the game, the boys are confident that we're going to do that. You've got that momentum at the moment. Is that just the right thing to carry you through and keep you going to this top six? Yeah, definitely. I think we need to take confidence from from the results. Um, and the gaffers come in. And the boys are the boys have been doing great. Um, that they're enjoying it. And, and like you say, with some good results and a bit of momentum, and we hope to keep that going Saturday. Just before going back to Kazakhstan, could make your Scotland debut. But will you have anyone watching you? Family or anyone? No, well, th a few of them have already said about trying to get to the San Marino game. It's obviously a bit closer. Uh, I suppose it's. I'm not going to get to know if I'm going to play in any of the games, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, but if if they get to San Marino, it would obviously be great in front of them because uh, it's just as big a dream for them as it is for me. So it'd be great, yeah. I read an article with you from a few years back where you said when you were released by Hibs as a, as a youngster, um, you weren't sure whether you were going to make it as a pro. Coming back, do you feel like you've had a bit of a point to prove? Um, not really, to be honest. No, I think look, I think you get thousands of kids and at the time um, that will get released for clubs. Even it happens now. You get told it's a bit like myself. At Red, and you get told that you're not wanted by by someone, but. It's always a case. It's, there's always going to be someone out there that does want you, so you just need to be positive, really. Which I think I am quite a positive person. Um, one person's opinion doesn't sort of define who you are or the be-all and end-all kind of thing. So it's just a case of it's being positive and, and just enjoying football and 
like I say, as things like this come along, it's it's extra special. I know it's still early days, but given how well things have gone, are you looking already beyond your loan spell and potentially staying here in the future? No, obviously a few people have asked about that, but uh, for me, it's I can only really look to to the summer. I've got three years left at Reading, um, so there's been sort of no point in, in looking elsewhere at the minute. Cause as it stands, I need to go back there in the summer. Uh, so until the, I sort of have that conversation with the Reading manager and, and the staff down there in the summer um, to sort of let me know where I stand, um, I sort of can't really commit to anything else. When you left Reading, did they did they say what they wanted to see from you whilst you're out on loan, or was it very much just about going and getting first team football? No, it was just a case of a new manager had come in with new ideas and, and maybe wanted some some of his own players or um, never really fancied you as a player. Like like I sort of touched on earlier, these these things happen. Um, but like I said, I was confident that there was quite a few teams wanting me to go to them. Um, was it picking the right team and? Um, Obviously, it looks like it's been a great decision to, to come back up the road. How much of a part did it play, being that you're from around here? Yeah, I've, look, I played a little part, I suppose, getting back up with the family and stuff, but like I say, it's only a little part. I think um, your football comes first, it's a short career, so I think if it means being away from your family and um, living in England or wherever it is, if, it's, if that's what's best for your career, then I think you've got to do that. And, uh, I sort of weighed up a few options, and I and I thought one of the big reasons was Scotland to try to try get a, to a call up to Scotland would be coming back up to Hibs. I think they'd, they'd give me the sort of best platform to, to to go and do that. And like I said, it's been it's been great.